the people of Kenya have not only um, uh, spoken that loudly on the unity of the nation. In 2013, we, the government that won in 2013, we had 25% in 31 counties. In 2017, we had 34 counties. We got 25% in 34 counties. This year, we even have a broader mandate because we have won 25% in 39 counties. That broader mandate comes with greater responsibility to every Kenyan. And that is why I want to say from the onset, there will be no room for exclusion of any part of the Republic of Kenya. We are going to govern in a manner that makes sure that no part of Kenya is left behind. No sector of Kenya is left behind. No community of Kenya is left behind. We're going to move together as a nation because the people of Kenya are already telling us that we need to change the politics of our nation and eliminate ethnicity from the equation of the leadership or governance of the Republic of Kenya. And that is, we are going to obey those instructions from the people of Kenya. Um, with that expanded mandate, <clears throat> um, as I said, comes responsibility, which we must account for. And I will be leading this team in making sure that not only Kenya is united, but the delivery of government business is going to be to every part of the Republic of Kenya, making sure that if we move together, we can actually achieve more than by getting divided. And in so doing, let me just say two um, very important things. Number one, because we intend to deliver as a government, the public service is going to be a very important tool in the delivery of government programs and government services. And I want to commit right from the beginning that public service will be professional and I expect that the public service will serve Kenyans equally without any preference to tribe, uh, to um, communities, or any preference to political affiliations. <laughs> Public servants across the board, all the way down to the chiefs and their assistants, we will be expecting them to serve Kenyans equally, without favoring people because of their political affiliation. I am asking all public servants who have been forced to take political positions in the just concluded elections to step back and be professional public servants, carry out their mandate professionally and serve all Kenyans equally. Political business will be carried out by political actors. Political parties must organize themselves and organize their structures to run their politics. I am sorry, members of the political administration, members of the provincial administration, public servants will not be available to carry out political work for any political party. It is the only way we can have a government that delivers. Political parties, including ours, must run their own political activities and look for their own people 
एरन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन पब्लिक सर्वेंट्स विल नॉट बी अवेलेबल टू डू एनी पॉलिटिकल वर्क फॉर एनी पॉलिटिकल पार्टी वी वांट देम टू रिमेन इंडिपेंडेंट to work for all Kenyans irrespective of which party they belong to or uh, which community they come from or what region they come from. That is how we are going to bring Kenya together. And therefore, I am sending my commitment to public servants that their jobs are protected, their jobs are secure, they don't have to participate they don't have to take political sides politicians and political actors will do that they should serve kenyans equally irrespective of whatever political affiliations we have let me also say that um uh going into the future our government must be accountable we will shortly be uh, taking steps to make sure that we run a transparent democratic but accountable government and we have discussed here with these um, uh, legislators and uh, uh, members of both the senate and the national assembly that we will be looking at the standing orders it has not been possible for cabinet secretaries to be interrogated by the legislature some members of parliament have been answering questions in parliament we do not think that is the right thing to do and we are going to have a discussion so that we can adjust and amend the standing orders to make it possible for cabinet secretaries to get to the floor of the house and answer questions and uh, explain government policy on the floor of the house so that the people's representatives members of parliament and senators can interrogate what their government is doing we do not think that it is enough for cabinet secretaries to go to committees of parliament we have discussed with the, our speaker and there is a possibility of us ensuring that we run an accountable government by making sure that on a daily basis the people of kenya through their representatives in parliament can ask questions can interrogate government policy government programs on the floor of the house so that um uh, uh, we can be better accountable as a as a government we will be um speaking to many of the other issues as we as we move forward we will be um uh making our polit our public policy uh, pronouncements to guide the country in the direction in which we believe the country will move uh, forward and as i have said we want to move the country forward at the earliest opportunity possible we are looking forward to Uh, the processes that are now ongoing coming to uh, a conclusion shortly um we will be suggesting uh, members of uh, um Kenya Kwanza to the transition uh, committee i think we are doing that today so that the process of the transition can kick in and we can um go towards uh, concluding the matter of the election so um if there will be court processes we will uh, engage in those and make sure that we because we are democrats and we believe 
in the rule of law. So, to that extent, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say um, we've had a wonderful meeting this morning. I think we have introduced uh, the new members who are here for the first time. We have also agreed that uh, Kenya Kwanza is going to run a mentorship program for our new members so that we can make them better, more effective, more efficient uh, legislators and people's representatives, and uh, we can better train them to be able to appropriate their responsibilities of oversight, their responsibilities of legislating, and their uh, responsibilities of uh, representation. We want them to be effective so that we can better deliver uh, to the people of Kenya. So with those many uh, remarks, I think uh, we have also agreed on other internal matters, on uh, how, what uh, priorities we are going to work on. We have also agreed on uh, other political manenos, which we are going to engage in and move forward uh, together. Uh, and in our Mideast, I think we have, uh, we have our county governors who are here. Um, we have uh, senators who are here. We have members of parliament also who are here. Just for the record, uh, we have in this uh, meeting 140 members of parliament uh, who are UDA. Uh, wasimame, tuwaone, wasimame, the UDA members of parliament. That is, uh, those are the, the people who have just been elected as members of parliament, both uh, um, uh, excluding senators, I, just, I think just members, members of parliament. Women. And women reps, I'm saying when I say members of parliament, including women reps. Wasimame. Can we round of applause for them? Sandesana, thank you very much. We have senators in the house. Our senators. We have 24 senators. Uh, <clears throat> Sandesana, Waishimua, Keti Cheni. And then we have, um, when I said MPs, did I say UDA alone? Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I needed to say uh, Kenya Kwanza, sorry. Kenya Kwanza members of parliament again? 160, 163 of them. They are here. Hi, Asante 